exploring uh, different living materials, each day a new one, uh, and inviting artists and creatives to deliver workshops and talks around those themes. So some of the key themes that we really wanted to explore through Bab Lab was, first of all, to introduce people, firstly, to the concept of bio art. Secondly, pull down any barriers to accessing bio arts, um, because it can sound like quite a scary thing or a quite detached thing from people's everyday experiences. So wanting to show that they can take part in uh, bio art sort of discussions and practices by using everyday materials that aren't requiring specialist equipment um, or knowledge. They are things that can be accessed by everyone and really trying to promote the idea of kitchen science, being able to do things in your gardens or in your own home. I hope that people realise the importance of these relationships with materials or plants and the environment around them and how they could actually be used in more than multiple ways. So for example, the beetroot, you could cook it, you could eat it, but at the same time it can help you create different materials of dyes and paints that you can use in your own project, but also acknowledge how that relationship between the two of you using that object has a reason to be there and that the reason coexists with one another between the person using it and the object itself. I originally trained as a scientist but a lot of the stuff that I've been doing I mean I do it in my kitchen you know it's stuff that anyone could do I learned it from watching YouTube videos so you know in terms of I mean I, I grow stuff that you probably wouldn't want to eat but Absolutely, people could grow oyster mushrooms and things like that and have a nice stir fry maybe. I think it's really important to work with living materials because it allows us to connect back to ourselves and the natural environment. I'd say the most important tool was the body itself as a living material. So thinking about the ways that we draw, the ways that we use our bodies in spaces, occupy space, or how we use our imagination as a tool from the mind. I think it's really important we learn about working with living materials because we are part of an ecosystem and we're currently living in a time in which we're very, we see ourselves as very separate entities and this is a way of us reconnecting with our world around us in a much more cohesive way. So I think that's what, for me, that's the main thing that makes it super important. One of the important things was that um, from the offset I wanted to um, have a bursary that would allow creatives to attend um, the whole week as much as possible and pay them a small honorarium um, for their time to, to um, be with us for as much of the programme as possible. There was a real preference given to artists and creatives who had no background in it, who hadn't engaged with bio arts before, to um, expose them to these uh, materials that they can use um, and ways of, of working with them in, in creative and, and novel ways. We chose a cohort of seven bursary applicants based on not just their level of interest in the programme, but also uh, the variety of practices that they, they have. So making sure we have people from lots of different um, fields, uh, lots of different ages, uh, perspectives, backgrounds, and we really wanted to foster a more community-based cohort. Throughout the week we've been learning about different mediums and different um, things to do with bio arts, of course. But, you know, I think the human body is where we experience it all and where it all comes together. So having it at the end of the week as well has been really cool. I've always been interested in the work that Laurie's been doing with slime moulds. Um, so when the opportunity came up to sort of broaden my knowledge of the whole area, it was really exciting to get hands on with it as a, almost as a creative medium as well. So it's really nice. And I'm not averse to art that you can eat at the end. That's quite good. <laughs> my artistic practice is mainly illustration. So the initial workshop that drew me was the making inks out of, of plants and being able to use um, live materials in that way. What really drew me to the project was less the live materials and more the idea of sharing a space with like seven or eight other people with an artistic practice and being able to have conversations about those artistic practices. And it's something really different to what I would have been offered in terms of opportunity or even come across. Normally I see all these brilliant workshops but can never afford it. I don't earn much as an artist because I, I, I use it to, I work as well as looking after my daughter. So childcare was a barrier, money was a barrier, so that these bursaries um, really helped me. We've been in Sturchley, in Ladywood, in Digbeth, uh, in Southside, and we've really tried to make sure it's all relational and reciprocal in 
um, the themes that we're, we're looking at. So people have come with so much energy, people have been here um, waiting for the next thing, wanting to learn more, wanting to hear more, wanting to see more, um, and have just been absolutely phenomenal throughout the whole week.